Hey guys, what's up? Uh, War Petri here. Um, I'm a part of the new Warmonger uh, authors team. Um, uh, first founded by uh, Nintaku. He um, posting up a uh, tutorial on how to make a, um, a terrain piece. And so, uh, to fulfill my duty for that uh, as an author and also to him, um, I will be doing the terrain uh, right now. What we'll be doing is a... Um, I just thought of this when I was looking at a Chips Ahoy uh, container. What it is, uh, it's a plasma generator. Uh, it's more of an imperial style plasma generator. Uh, so what I have, if I can get it in shot, is a, um, it's just foam board. Or, um, yeah, foam board stuff. Um, on the back it has a uh, recycle thing from an old uh, piece of poster that I had. Um, so yeah, poster board, um, it has like the, uh, the paper stuff on top and like the foamy stuff in the middle. Um, I'll try to make this uh, as professional as I can, um, but other than that it should be uh, going pretty smooth. Alright, so what I did, first off, um, this is the base, um, it's bigger than my hand, and it is uh, a little bit wider than the cookie tray. Um, this should work for any type of cookie tray, I just picked this one because, well, it's from Chips Ahoy. And it kind of looks like a plasma crystal top generator thingy. So that's what I base this off of. Um, so it does go over the edge a little bit, which is uh, important. And there is enough room to have a little building back here. Uh, so for my materials, I have a cookie um, container. I have foam board base. And then I have other pieces of uh, foam board or uh, poster board that I have uh, cut out. Um, I will have probably pictures of those, or I'll just show you some of the pieces. Uh, if you go to the Warmonger Games Day or Game Day um, website, I'll have that on the bottom of the YouTube video uh, down below. Um, it'll have uh, a link to the uh, to the website, and from there I will have a um, a picture of what the layout is for or the templates are for the uh, for the pieces. Um, so just to show a quick few of them. This, we're going, this is a side piece, and then uh, this is the top pieces that actually go on top of the generator. Um, so there's just some of the pieces um, that I have for this tutorial. Um, I'll have, once again, all the links and stuff like that to the bottom of the, uh, the video. Uh, one other thing that you'll need is an X-Acto knife. Um, you'll need a brand new blade, so that way the blade can cut uh, right through the... Uh, the stuff, the foam board, or I don't know why you want to call it foam board, um, but the poster board. Uh, you want a sharpie, something that you can see on the uh, on the board, so that way you can see where it is. I just marked off where the thing is, where the cookie tray will be uh, sitting, so that way I know all my spacing and stuff like that. Um, so let's see what else you'll need. You'll need, or what I'll be using is the GW. If I can get this stuff in focus. Uh, this is a GW tank transfer sheet. Um, I'll have that, but I probably won't be painting anything until the whole thing is completed, and the painting tutorial will be uh, after I build it. Um, so you don't, won't really need that for now. Um, I do have some GW bits I'm using. Let's see here, I have the Rhino kit or the Rhino bit. Um, sorry if that's completely out of focus, but I'm using a camera. So at that, I have the top hatches. <coughs> top hatches to the tank kit. I have the doors uh, from a Rhino. I have the Kila. Um, I play Dark Angels for Space Marines. Uh, Kapala. Um, so I have my Capture Pacific um, bit, my logo, that was really hard to pick off the ground, uh, but my chapter Pacific, um, bit, the Dark Angels logo, and then the little top hatch, and then also have, um, the little antenna array thingies, uh, from the tank kit, which I don't know where I put, well I have that too. So that's all the stuff you'll be needing. Uh, once again, the layout of everything that you'll need is uh, in the description. Um, I'll try to keep this as few videos as I can, um, but I'll have them all uh, 
in responses to the next one so that way you can just go down the bottom of the um, page and then just click it to watch the next video. Um, so what I'll do first off is my hot glue gun here is uh, ready to go. Um, you'll be wanting that and some extra glue sticks and stuff. So what I'll be doing first is gluing down my cookie tray and then I'll be gluing down the base for um, or the, the back wall for the uh, for the cookie tray, the generator thingy and then I'll have my base to go behind that. So I'll be doing that and I will be back. Okay, so what I've done, uh, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Uh, I glued down the, um, the cookie tray, I glued down the back wall, and I glued down the base. For the base, it's very important that there's uh, the arrows here for front and back. Um, I believe that in the um, on my templates I did that. Um, but if not, the shorter um, diagonal is in the back, and then the longer diagonal is in the front. Um, so, I should be going that way. Um, so what I'll be doing next is I'll be putting up the front face wall, and then the two side walls. Um, the two side walls are like the, um, the, the C looking things. Uh, those are one of the pieces I showed you before. Um, looks like this. So those will go just on the side. It's okay if it's a little bit taller because um, then we can cut it down before then. Um, but if you're gonna have it be a different size cookie thing or whatnot, um, you can always just trace it and then cut it off uh, with your exacto knife. Um, so I'll be doing that and then I'll be back later. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I jumped ahead a little bit, but um, I got the front section done. I got the two walls. I have the side wall, which looks like that. Uh, I have the other side wall on the other side. Uh, for this part. Sorry if this stuff is not in focus. There we go. Uh, I can't have this stuff focused uh, all the time. But um, for this section of the wall, um, I actually did not make this template uh, long enough to go around the corner here. And for this uh, other part of the section, the wall to come up. So I, I actually had to add some of the pieces of um, of the f uh, poster board that I cut off from the tops of this part. And I just stuck it in there and I glued it in there and it looks fine. Um, I still have to um, put some things right here. I'll probably put like a search slab or something like that, just to make it more detailed. Or I could just put another brick of um, of poster board there. But I just, just want to show you guys that. Uh, so I'll get out of uh, macro. All right. So um, what else? Uh, what I also did is I put on the front uh, front face of the um, the window. Um, there is actual. Uh, board for that, and then um, you can see that line, um, I didn't compensate for the top shelf here to look over um, the generators, and then I'll have little pieces up top here, um, so if I didn't have that, um, the guys wouldn't be able to see out. Uh, I'm not making this so that you can remove the top and have the guys in there, um, it's all going to be glued down, but um, just uh, so you guys know, I did add a... Um, a little piece right there. It's not very long. Um, if you want to measure it, if you have like a 50 or 25 mil base, it's just a little bit shorter than that. Um, I basically just guesstimated and I just drew a straight line and I cut it. And I did that for the back piece too. Um, for the front piece, I measured it with the length of the front wall. And it's very important for the back wall to do the same thing because the back wall is actually shorter. Um, so just for that. And then this is the side wall um, to get some more steps done. Um, this is the side wall. It's actually three pieces. Um, you, for these side walls, it's important to make sure that they fit to the angles of the um, of each side. Um, you'll see in the um, in the uh, my little layout thing that says left wall, right wall. Um, that's in, that's a key thing because these angles are actually different. Um, just the way that I drew it, but I did compensate for that, and I did make this a little bit uh, taller, so that way it can be cut flush um, with the roof. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll put in the back wall, and then I'll put up the side wall, and then I'll leave the roof uh, last, um, and then I'll start working on the uh, the front part. And so I believe I'm coming up to 10 minutes on the, this video, and so uh, I'll make this part two, and I'll talk to you guys later.